it blows my mind that more web designers aren't offering migrations as a service. This is by far the biggest missed opportunity in our industry and all of us are getting hurt because of it. You're getting hurt because you're not getting paid as much. Your client's getting hurt because they're losing traffic and everybody is losing because it's a bad experience all around. So in this video, I'm gonna to explain to you what is a migration, how to do it, why it's important, and also I'm gonna to talk to you at the end about how much you can charge and how to make your clients happy to pay that amount. So let's get into it. All right, so the first question is, what is a site migration? And the simple answer is when you take an old website and then you turn it into a new website, there are usually a lot of things that change, right? You change the text, the headers, the images, the links, the page titles, everything is going to change. Now you can't just do this all willy nilly and not expect Google to penalize you when all of a sudden your website is completely different. Now it's okay to make these changes, but you have to be very tactful in which changes you make, how you make them, and that you notify Google of changes that you have made to make sure that you don't lose traffic. Now luckily, a site migration is just a really simple process that you follow, more like a checklist, and if you do every step, it's gonna mitigate any traffic loss and your clients are gonna be a lot happier with their experience. So the next question is, why are they important? Well, they're getting more and more important because even five, 10 years ago, there were a lot of people that would reach out to us as web designers because they didn't even have a website. But right now, pretty much everyone has a website and so most of the clients that you get are gonna be wanting to take an old website and make it a new website. And so it's gonna be really essential that you understand this process because first off, it's going to make your client's experience way better and then like we talked about, you're gonna be able to charge more, but also it's gonna help set you apart from other web designers and most of the clients that I've landed recently have chosen me specifically because we understood how to do migrations and we understood SEO. And so this is a huge value point for your prospects and it's gonna make you a really appealing option to hire. Now the next question is why do you as a designer need to understand migrations? Well, first off, like we said, it's going to set you apart, but also this is a really great complimentary service that goes perfectly with web design, you've already built the website, you're familiar with it, you already have access to it, you understand the client's goals and, and their whole process. And so it's gonna be so easy for you to go from design to development to migration really smoothly and clients are gonna see the value in this and they're gonna have no problem paying extra for a good migration. The other thing that I like about migrations is it's really easy to charge a huge amount of money even though it's not that much work because in this scenario, people aren't paying for your time, they're paying for your expertise, and even more than that, they're paying for you to put them at ease about the whole process. Now, let's just take an example of a company that gets 20,000 site visitors per month organically to their website, and you're building a new site for them. Now, they're going to understand how detrimental it will be for their business if all of a sudden they lose all of that traffic. And so you're going to be able to charge accordingly and say, hey, I know this traffic every month is making you $50,000. And so if you want me to make sure that we do this process properly and save you that revenue, I'm going to have to charge at least five to $10,000 for this solution. And in most cases, the client's going to say, yeah, I definitely can see why that's important. And as long as I can trust you to do it right, I'm happy to pay that amount. And that leads us to our last question, which is how much can you make or how much should you charge for a site migration? And truly it just depends on the case. But for my team, most of the time we charge between three and $6,000 for a normal migration. But there are times where we charge even more depending on the size of the client. Now you might have times where the client is uneasy about spending that much money. And in these cases, you just need to help them understand the value and the importance of doing the migration properly. And so the question that I always ask just to help them put it in perspective is, if you lost all of your traffic to your website next month, how much money would that cost you? And usually this question is going to make them reflect and think, well, we have worked hard for our rankings and our organic presence. And if we lose all that traffic, it's actually going to cost us you know, $50,000, $80,000. And that's going to really quickly help them understand that paying five, $6,000 to save that traffic is definitely going to be a great investment. I promise you that as you put in the work to become a master at site migrations, you're going to become the number one choice for a lot of really, really great clients. Now, if you wanna know more 
about exactly how to execute a migration, you can check this video right here. It's also going to give you a free checklist that you can go through and it's gonna have everything that you need to do a great migration. So if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Be sure to subscribe and we'll catch you in the next video.